What's up everyone, welcome back to Tetrabit Gaming. Followed is a series that is no stranger when it comes to dark, creepy, and even controversial topics. And from what I've played so far, Fallout 4 definitely continues this legacy. Today we'll be looking at Vault 75, one of the many vaults found in Fallout 4's Commonwealth. It is located directly under Malden Middle School in the small community of Malden, just northwest of Malden Center and Slocum Joe's corporate headquarters. Before we dive in, just a small pretext. For those of you who don't know, as a long story short, in the Fallout universe, a company called vault created several underground social experiment facilities under the guise of Fallout shelters designed to save humanity. More often than not, these social experiments conducted were pretty vile. Okay, back to Vault 75. As mentioned earlier, the vault is located directly underneath Malden Middle School, which appears to have been a normal pre-war middle school. However, it does have a jail cell type door, which should be one's first cause of concern when attending a school. Through this cell, we gain access to the basement level where the entrance to Vault 75 is located. The first thing you'll notice once inside is that the vault now seems to be controlled by the gunners, and when going through this vault, you'll need to power through them. Just past the entrance, you can find the first terminal. It contains several documents to read. Firstly, we can learn that the vault has been marketed as a protection for children in the chance of a nuclear attack, hence why it is located right under a school. The guidelines for subsidy and enrollment to the vaults are also listed. One or more family members had to be under the age of 15, the children had to be students in the town of Malden, and the family can have no more than two adults per child. It is also noted that the vault will also accept children without their parents, which will make more sense in a bit. Next we can read up on the admission protocols. They seem to be standard vault protocols until we see that everyone over the age of 17 is segregated from their younger candidates and will be taken to get briefed by the head of security. And lastly we can see a list of the children who are admitted as well as their age. And then after heading deeper into the vault, we see it features a similar layout to other vaults with a standard atrium, kitchen, bedrooms, a power reactor room, right next to a kid's playground. I'm sure there could be a thousand maybe 10,000 safer places to have a playground for kids. In the second floor of the atrium, we find more living quarters with typical posters kids would have, as well as the classroom in which they were taught and mentally examined. There we find a terminal which shows a story the children are taught about up top land, and how they are supposed to one day go there and help the poor people living there. It is obvious that they are referring to the nuclear wasteland just above the vault. Several other corrupt files are present, as well as a file written in broken text, likely that of an illiterate gunner trying to copy the letters. Now venturing to the lower floor of the vault, we see various physical testing facilities, where the young vault dwellers were physically examined. It also contains a still-functioning shooting course, where combat efficiency was likely tested. Behind the range, we can also find a small hideout. Whether it was made by one of the original vault dwellers, or eventually by the gunners, we don't know. It is important to note, now that we have seen areas where the children are tested both mentally and physically, we will soon discover why. Now heading up to the second floor, we enter the laboratory wing of the vault. Here we find more living areas, missing textures, as well as one-way windows observing the testing areas below. We also come across a terminal of one of the researchers who is later referred to as Washington. We learn that this researcher was in charge of monitoring the aerobic and cardio health of the test subjects. He was basically instructed to increase the intensity of the exercise until a target heart rate was reached. We also see that the testing was to be continued even through strains, vomiting, losing consciousness, and only to be stopped upon death or heart failure of the subject. And you thought your workout was rough. We can also explore some of Washington's personal files in which we learn that he just graduated from the vault not too long ago and was assigned the research position and more importantly we learn that aside from the overseer the children of the vault don't have any contact with any adults. Hmm, where did their parents go? We also learn about his fondness of a younger girl he was likely friends with before who is still under the age of 18 and living amongst the rest of the test subjects. Up ahead in this wing is an observation area for the shooting course. Be sure to grab the science bobblehead here located on the desk. Now at the last section of the vault, we are able to uncover what the true nature of Vault 75 actually was. Here we find the chief scientist's terminal, where the extent of the social experiment is revealed. Here we find out that Vault 75 was part of a top secret military program directed at improving, refining, and perfecting the human genome. It even mentions a research schedule set by Dr. Braun which is the same Dr. Braun who worked for vault and appears in Fallout 3. It is revealed that the process by which they would be refining the genome would be through selective breeding, 
hormonal treatment, genetic modification, and a fast generational cycle. That's pretty messed up. To fill the positions of adult staff, outgoing subjects over the age of 18, exhibiting high intellectual promise but insufficient physical capability for genome harvesting, would be considered. It is mentioned that those who refuse an offered position would be disposed of, in the same manner as other subjects. Disposed of doesn't sound very fun. We also see that to restrict the child subjects from having contact with any adults, even the recruited graduates are to be kept from the test population for at least 15 years to prevent someone recognizing a former inhabitant. Subjects at the age of 18 excelling in physical, mental, and social traits were processed, tranquilized, being told it was a vaccination, and then had specific organic material harvested. We read that over a few years, the subjects were getting stronger, and that the tranquilizers administered in the vault food were beginning to lose its effect, and a growing number of subjects were getting more aggressive and having psychological breakdowns. The chief scientist also references Washington, and the overseer's concern for his attachment to his old friends. It seems Washington's first task would be incineration. Now as in most vaults, our last stop is the overseer's office. Here you can find a Grognak the Barbarian comic you definitely don't want to miss. Also here we find the final terminal, which belonged to the overseer, and this one contains the most information about the vault. Firstly we learn that all the adults separated from the children after the nukes fell were isolated and killed by the head of security. We again read that the specially selected graduates are to be isolated from the rest of the test subjects and that the children are told that the graduates have simply just vacated the vault. The main directives of the overseer are also outlined. As we have already discussed that all the adult residents must be removed from the younger test subjects and that they may be either genome harvested, reintegrated as staff, or culled if deemed insufficient. The vault was supposed to remain sealed until the infamous all clear from vault Tech was issued. The last notable file is that of the overseer referencing Washington, seeing him having to be segregated and distantly monitoring those he cared about, and perhaps finally realizing what they are doing may be wrong. And there we have it, Vault 75, a military social experiment aimed at modifying and perfecting the human genome at the expense of separating children from their families, interning them, manipulating, and even killing them. This is definitely one of vault -Tec's darker experiments. That's all for this video guys, I hope you enjoyed it. This is the first follow up video that I have done, so if you enjoyed and would like to see more videos like this, please leave a like and subscribe, and also leave a comment about your thoughts on this video as well as suggestions for what you'd like to see next. And as always guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in a bit.